Amal purchases some pens at rupees 8 each. To sell this, he hires an employee at a fixed wage. He sells 100 of these pens at rupees 12 each. If the remaining pens are sold at rupees 11 each, then he makes a net profit of rupees 300. While he makes a net loss of rupees 300, if the remaining pens are sold at rupees 9 each, the wage of the employee in rupees is. Here, employee sells 100 of these pens at rupees 12 each means total number of pens is greater than 100 here. That is, total number of pen n is equal to 100 plus remaining pens. I will take remaining pens as x. That is, I have taken the remaining pens as x here. Now, 100 plus x is the total number of pen. Now, total expenditure for amal is equal to cost to price plus fixed wage. Here, cost to price is amal purchases pens at rupees. 8 means 8n is the cost price. Now, fixed wage, I will take it as W. So, 8n plus W is the total expenditure for AMAL. Now, there are two selling price here. One At one selling price, he gets a profit of 300. And at another selling price, he gets a loss of 300. So, profit 300 means plus 300. So, he gets a profit 300. When he sells 100 of these pens at rupees 12 each, that is 1200 plus the remaining pens, remaining pens is x at a rupees 11 each, that is 11x. So 1200 plus 11x is the selling price. When he sells at this price, he gets a profit of 300. Profit of 300 means selling price is rupees 300 rupees greater than the expenditure. That is selling prices 300 rupees greater than the expenditure. Here expenditure is equal to 810 plus fixed wage. Now in the second case, he makes a loss of 300 rupees. Loss means minus 300. So when he sells 100 of these pens at 12 rupees each means 1200 plus the remaining pens at rupees 9 each. Remaining pens are x at rupees 9 each means 9x. So when he sell at this selling price, he makes a loss of 300. Loss of 300 means selling price is 300 rupees less than the expenditure. Here expenditure is 8n plus w. Now we have two equations. Here if I subtract these two, that is subtract second equation from the first. Then 8n plus w, 8n plus w cancel, 1200, 1200 cancel, 11x minus 9x is equal to 2x, 300 minus minus 300 is plus 600. So 2 goes 300 times in 600 means x is equal to 300 means here remaining pens are 300 means total number of pen n is equal to 100 plus x that is 400 pens. Here. We need to find out the wage of the employee here. So, wage is equal to apply n equal to 400 in the first equation. Here, 18 means 18 to 400 that is 3200. Now, 11x means 11 into 300 that is 3300. Now, 3300 minus 3200 is 100. 1200 plus 100 is 1300, 1300 minus 300 is equal to 1000. So, wage of the employee is equal to 1000 rupees. So, your answer is 1000 rupees.